What is up, my buttery biscuits? In today's video, we're going to be talking about Manny MUA and James Charles. Ironically enough, I just received my painted in the mail. Y'all know I'm going to be doing a review of this. That's why I actually got makeup on. I'm going to film this video first and then do the review of this. If you guys did not check out my previous video, I was like, y'all, if this video gets 500 likes, which I low key really didn't think was going to happen. Honestly, just keeping it real because like my videos really don't get any type of views these days and I don't really get that many thumbs up. So I was like, oh, if it gets 500, I was like literally being playful that I would do a review of it. And then it got like, I don't know, maybe like 1800 likes on it. So I was like, oh my, I literally just spit everywhere. Y'all are sitting in the soak zone. Anyway, so I got a bunch of likes on it. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and buy it. I was going to buy the brown shade as well as the yellow shade. I definitely did want to pick up the yellow one only because I know formulating yellows is so difficult, whether it be even just a powder eyeshadow, but especially like a cream type of product, it tends to crack. And I'm really curious y'all to see how this is going to be. So I will be checking this out, but we're going to be talking about Manny MBA within today's video, because it seems like a lot of people are bothered that he is actually supporting James Charles. I do want to say, obviously, you could sit here and say that I'm the same way because I obviously did buy a product from him, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just reviewing it for people, and that's pretty much it. You guys know that I really don't have any desire to support James Charles. Honestly, and on top of that, too, like, if I'm just keeping it real, you guys can go back years on my videos before he was even canceled. I've always said... I, I've always felt rude saying this because I'm just not that type of person, but I've just never really cared for James Charles. Like, he's always just, I don't know, there's always just something about him just kind of irks me, you know what I mean? And I, I feel bad for even saying that because I feel like a bully, I feel like a mean girl, and I'm like, I'm not that type of way. But there's just some people in life that you just don't like, you know what I mean? And I've always felt that way about James Charles, but I feel like I have done a really, really good job on my channel here of being very objective and not like bashing him or anything like that. Obviously, even with his allegations, I've always tried it lightly on that. I do want to ask you guys, though, before getting into this video, what do you guys feel about people still being friends with James Charles? Because I often think if something like this had happened to my friend and these allegations had came out with my friend, how would I feel about that? How would I handle it? Do you know what I mean? If I was friends for a person for a long period of time and these allegations came by and you're like, okay, what's, what do I do here? Do you know what I mean? I really want to know your guys' opinions about this because thank God I've never had to be put into that position, but I always do think like, okay, what if something like this did come out? Like, what if I was friends with Lizzo and then all these allegations came out? I'm like, Hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's such a difficult position. That's why I'm just basically within today's video reporting the news to you guys about what's going on with Manny Amway, but I really don't have an opinion on it only because I just often think about like, oh my gosh, what if I was friends with this person for a long period of time? And what if they were such a really good friend to me and then this happened? Like, how do you, well, like, what do you do about that? Do you know what I mean? Because I'm honestly thinking that maybe Manny MUA has been friends with James Charles for a while now. And maybe, you know, he's like, you know what? Yeah, he did mess up, but he talked to him privately and maybe he's doing better and maybe he's learned from from his mistakes. Do you know what I mean? So I obviously think about it like that way. Honestly, it sucks for Manny MUA. Obviously, he's just reviewing a product, which is obviously going to be highly talked about because it's James Charles brand. It just sucks that obviously he's going to get a lot of backlash. A lot of people are not liking that he um, did a review of the brand. I honestly thought the same thing was going to happen for me, but then I was like, you know what? At the end of the day, y'all, I'm basically doing a style of video of like, I'm just buying it so that way you don't have to type of thing. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so we're going to be talking about that within today's video. Please answer that question down below. What would you do in this situation? Say, for example, put yourself in Manny MUA's shoes and then you're friends with James Charles. You guys have been friends for years and then these allegations come out. Like, what do you do? How would you handle the situation? Like, for real, for real, like, don't, I'm, I'm asking genuinely because I really want to know. Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this day and age, you'd never really know how to handle things. I, I Y'all know I always say too whenever anybody comes out even like with an apology nobody ever like it's never good enough do you know what i mean this day and age like you can come out with um you know this great apology and then somebody's gonna be like no that's not enough y'all speaking of which i saw that jeff bezos was um donating 100 million dollars to the fires in hawaii people were literally commenting oh my god he can give so much more he could do so much more i'm like i understand he's a multi-billionaire i get that but a hundred million dollars a hundred million, like, that's a lot, you know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, it's just, you know, this day and age, I just feel like nothing is ever good enough. Do you know what I mean? That's my whole point of that. Anyway, so we're going to be talking about Manny MUA within today's video. Y'all, make sure you guys go show some love on my second channel. Click down below. Check out the most recent video where we ate at celebrity restaurants for 24 hours. I feel like, y'all, I put the most work into that video that I've ever done. Literally, I know I said that a lot, but this takes the cake. I want to say, like, I, it took me, like, 43 hours to edit, but only because I put a lot of, like, new effects and graphics into it that I've never done before. So I'm, like, literally sitting here on YouTube. How do I do this? And how do I do this? And I did, like, little cool things, like, with the buildings and stuff like that. So I'm, like, really trying to step up my editing game. So go check it out. Show, so, blah, 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 blah. show me some love over there. Let me know if you guys like that. Because, honestly, I'm going to keep it with you guys. If, like, people don't really like the graphics, I'm not going to put that much work into it. Do you know what I mean? So let me know if you guys do like 
like it so that way I can continue to do it or not. Um, anyways, y'all, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. I feel like I am all over the place. I just drank one of these primes right now instead of my Celsius, trying something a little bit new. And um, I'm like, woo, I do have to say, this is really good. Um, I know a lot of people were talking about this on the news and I was just like, okay, y'all, like like a kid had got their hands on like a kid should not be having an energy drink do you know what i mean anyways all besides the point let me shut up let's go and get into the video y'all sometimes i really think that i should not be drinking an energy drink before doing any type of videos because i'll be editing and i'm like oh my gosh you are like off the wall bouncing back and forth but in my defense the reason why i always have like an energy drink before filming is because i don't know if you guys notice i'll always be wearing like the same clothes for like four videos in a row is because i have this like habit of like filming four videos at a time so that way i have like the week's videos done do you know what i mean rather than filming one every single day i prefer for to just do it all within one day so i'm like you know, let me have an energy drink and then honestly for like the first video or like the first two videos i'm like whoa jesus christ like you talk so fast you need to slow down you ramble so much but then i'm just like you know what I like my energy drinks and it is what it is. Anyways, we're going to be talking about Manny MUA, obviously, because I don't know if you guys had saw, but when James Charles was actually going around Los Angeles, dropping off PR packages to his friends, Manny MUA was on there. And a lot of people are like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing this? You know what I mean? Because I feel like maybe people hold Manny MUA to a, like a higher standard or something. Maybe because a lot of people like his podcast now. And maybe because he went through his own form of a cancellation before that maybe they're like, okay, we need to single him out. Because I did notice within that video, a lot of people were calling out Manny MUA, but not anybody else so i was like there's a lot of other influencers that are in this video why is manny MUA the only one being called out i didn't really understand the purpose of that but like i said maybe they hold him to a higher standard because of the podcast and maybe because of his own you know version of a cancellation before i don't really know but i noticed that people were upset that he was getting the uh, PR package from James Charles. Now, what we're going to be talking about within today's video is he did a review of the painted products. And a lot of people are saying um, that brown shade is patchy, which really sucks because I told you guys before, I was going to be purchasing two of the painted shades, the yellow one and then the brown one. The brown one did sell out like instantly, so I couldn't get my hands on it. And now I'm like, damn, now I really want to know to see if it's really patchy because a lot of people are saying this is patchy. And that's a lot of comments. I'll read some of the comments after I play the video in just a minute a lot of people were like what's going on here you're like saying that's a brutally honest review but then you're not being brutally honest because it looks patchy he made a follow-up video which i will also play later on in this video saying no it's just his vitiligo because he does um have no melanin or is it melanin or pigment i don't know on his eyelid so you do see a lot of his veins which 100 i want to say can be true if you guys have worked in makeup before i have i don't know if the person that i worked on before had like vitiligo per se but they had a lot of veins Y'all, it is super, super, super hard to cover that up. Normally, you would have to go in with a concealer before, set that, and then put a base on for the eyeshadow. Do you know what I mean? So what he is saying is true, but we'll get into that in just a minute, but go ahead and check out this first video. I think it's time for a brutally honest review of Miss Painted. First and foremost, the aesthetic I think is fantastic. I really do like the clean white finish. Okay, so we're back and my base is on. Back and my base is on. <laughs> I want to use cold brew like all over my lid like almost like a brown smoky eye and then I want to do Miss Ink as an eyeliner to see how these hold up. I'm curious. It's super tiny dot. It's too small. What, do you know what I wish this had? Um, I wish that the little eye set actually had a really dense small blender. I wish it had a dense, small, fluffy, synthetic blender. I wish I had that. Something like this. Do you see how it's a small, dense blender? Very packed. I wish I had something like that. James for the next one. Brushes are very beautiful though. They're very sleek and I believe they all are like in the $8 range. Taking J1 and we're gonna put it all over the lid and then I'll blend out after with the dense blender. Look how like full coverage this is. A little dense blender I was talking about. And we're going to run that and I'm gonna kind of blend out to make a smoky eye. I will say immediately that these are extremely pigmented and very easy to blend out because they are blending. I was a little nervous because, you know, a paint, you never know, but they're very thin, but full coverage. Okay, J5 brush and the ink black shade. And let's see how it goes on. Extremely, extremely black. Full coverage, very pigmented. Wow. I like it. I feel like it dries down to a really nice matte finish. That's pretty sickening, bitch. So as you guys can see from right there, honestly, it did look a little bit patchy, but then it's kind of like, I wonder if he would have put down like a regular skin tone, flesh tone um, base first and then put that on. I wonder how it would have been. But these are just some of the comments right here. Y'all, this this comment has 28.3 thousand likes on it. And it says, is the blending in the room with us? <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn. Uh, anyways, the next one right here. James Charles is who you're gonna play in our face for? 
<laughs> I read that so messed up. Let me read it again. James Charles is who you're going to play in our face for. I don't know, because it really does suck. He did, we'll get into the follow-up video, but let me just read some of these. Somebody else said right here, Mama, that was so patchy. Girl, be for real right now. Why do all the colors look like kindergarten crayon colors? If that's brutally honest, then I'm Oprah. Maybe the blending is all the friends we made along the way. <laughs> I, I just, the comments go on and on and on, literally just kind of like roasting uh, many MUA. You know what I do want to say? Like, I feel like, I don't know, TikTok has such a different vibe to it. A lot of people are funny on there. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like uh, humor is back on TikTok, which makes me kind of excited because you guys know. I have said time and time again, it makes me sad that this day and age, everybody's so sensitive, everybody's so offended. Because I'm like, I love comedy. It's gotten me through my whole entire life. And I feel like everybody, I don't know, they hit this point to where everything's offensive. And I feel like on TikTok, people just know how to crack a joke over there. And I really do like that. Um, So now I'm going to be playing the video right here because he did make a follow-up to that because he obviously saw this like huge amount of comments talking about this is really patchy. So go ahead and check this out right here. Let's try this again, shall we? So I have a lot of comments in this video about the brown paint looking patchy on camera. I'm gonna show you guys in real time how it goes on. No edits, no cuts when applying it. I'm gonna take the cold brew by Painted. So you guys can see. So I have vitiligo, right? It's a skin condition where I lose pigment in areas of my face and I have it all around my eyes. And that's why my eyes are so veiny because I'm missing a lot of pigment there. So when you're applying something like this, which is a cream, it's gonna go on darker where I apply it. And then as I'm blending it outwards, it's going to lighten up. So let's take a little bit of it, not a lot. I mean, if you wanna take a lot, absolutely take a lot, but I'm just taking a little bit because I wanna just apply it so where i'm applying it it is very you know pigmented full coverage and as i'm going outwards i'm blending it and it's getting lighter because i'm using lighter pressure and i'm actually blending the shade it's not that it's patchy it's that the part where it's a little bit more sheer as i'm blending is showing more of my veins because of my vitiligo so i know it might have looked patchy on camera you know, it's very HD on this camera, but I promise you, it's actually not patchy. It's really not. And you can just continuously blend. It's not a hard thing to blend out. You just keep going lighter and lighter with the pressure. So it starts off dark, and then as you go out, it blends out. But as you can see, not it's not that it's patchy. It's that my veins, because of my vitiligo, pop through and it seems like, oh, it's kind of like patchy looking, you know? This eye, I'm actually gonna take an eyeshadow that's a brown, just an actual plain eyeshadow, a powder eyeshadow, a brown shade. I'm gonna apply this with no primer, just like I did the paint. And you will see that even eyeshadow can look a little patchy without a base. The reason I'm not using a base for the paint is because I was actually using the paint as my base. So as I'm applying a dark shadow, you can see that as I'm blending it away, it's starting to show my veins and things going through. So a lot of people that were like, oh, when you do your eyeshadow, it doesn't look patchy like that because I usually have a full coverage base on my eyes because of my vitiligo. So that's kind of why I kind of wanted to explain it because I think a lot of people were, you know, saying that like either I was not applying the product correctly or it just looked like shit, you know, but it actually isn't. <laughs> it actually isn't, you know? So once I keep applying this shadow, as you can see, it can be full coverage here and then it'll look a little more patchy out here. So as you can see right there, he did another demo. I honestly, like it sucks because I really would like to have my hands on the brown shade now. I'm obviously gonna do a review of the yellow only because I'm like, this is like the hardest to formulate shades. So I was like, you know what, let me cop this one right here. But now I really do wanna see the brown for myself. Um, but honestly, I could definitely see what he's saying because of the pigmentation of his veins showing through. Obviously some areas are going to look darker than others. If you have a really, really dark, like bluish purple vein, and then none right here, and then a vein right here, it's obviously gonna show up darker right there. Do you know what I mean? It's like you always, almost have to cancel that out before putting on the product. Um, So I do think like in this case, obviously if he did, if he does have this condition to where his veins are showing through, I think that he should have canceled that out first and then tried the product so that we can actually see how it does blend. Um, anyways, these are just some of the comments on here. Y'all want it to flop so bad. Um, he literally explains why it appears patchy and people are still in these comments calling it patchy. Like, what are we doing, team? Um, and then another one right here. Y'all are crazy. It does not look patchy. I do have to say, in my personal opinion, I don't think it looks patchy. I obviously know what patchy looks like, but I do understand what people were saying from the get-go. I do understand why people were saying that because if you do just take a look at it, it's like, whoa, it does look patchy patchy to like say for example like the naked eye like you look at that you're like oh it looks patchy but then obviously it's because of his veins showing through
Anyways, y'all, I'm going to film my review of this painted product right now. Um, but make sure you guys stay tuned. Check that out. That'll probably be tomorrow's video. So make sure you guys check that out. Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about this. Do you guys think that it looked patchy? Do you guys understand why it looked patchy? Um, also, do you believe Manny Emue when his when he's saying that he is giving a brutally honest review? I didn't think anything was brutal about that because honestly, y'all, like when he put it on his lips, you could tell it's like it's a super dry product, which obviously it's a matte product. But he could have said like this is really really dry. Do you know what I mean? Like be brutal if you're gonna say brutally honest in my personal opinion also make sure you guys answer the question that i did ask uh and ask in the beginning of the video like what would you do in this situation because what if manny mua manny mua and james charles are like really friends and like what if james charles has been a really good friend to him so therefore he feels like he has to support his brand do you know what i mean and like shout them out and like talk about them what do you guys feel about that because i always just wonder like what would you do in that case do you know what i mean anyways make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout